Mm, hi students, good afternoon. So today I'll continue with the uh, remaining for um, sorry water soluble vitamins. That is your two B complex vitamins B nine and B twelve, and the non B complex that is your vitamin C. So vitamin B nine is your folic acid. So the folic acid, uh, its chemistry or structure, it is made up of three components that is your pteridine ring which is attached with the glutamic acid and this glutamic acid which is attached with the PABA. PABA stands for para amino butyric acid. So these are the three compounds or components which are present in your folic acid. So coming to the sources. So folium is the word in Latin which means leaf. So the green leaf vegetables or green vegetables are the rich sources of your folic acid is liver whole cereals and eggs are the sources or food sources of your folic acid and coming to its rda that is recommended dietary allowances 200 microgram per day and it will be increased in pregnancy and lactation these are the food sources of your vitamin b9 or folic acid so coming to its biochemical function as I said, all the fat, water soluble vitamins mainly act as coenzymes in many of the metabolic reactions. So here again, the folic acid has its uh, coenzyme form that is tetrahydrofolic acid or tetrahydrofolate THFA folic acid or FH4 that is tetrahydrofolate or folic acid. So this tetrahydrofolate or folic acid is the carrier of one carbon atom the one carbon atom or one carbon compound sorry not one carbon atom it's a one carbon compound so these one carbon groups or compounds contain only single carbon atom in them examples are your methyl that is ch3 methylene methanyl formyl and formimino where you can see only the one single carbons are present in them so these one single carbons are added to different reactions to form other compounds like your see for the synthesis of methionine we need tetrahydrofolic acid and for the synthesis of glycine and serine synthesis of ethanolamine again require tetrahydrofolic acid and this folic acid is also required for the DNA synthesis and it is required for development of brain, spinal cord and the skeleton in fetus. This folic acid also reduces the levels of homocysteine in blood. So that is how it plays an important role in preventing the heart attacks and cancer. So these are the main functions of your folic acid. So the picture is showing same thing for the production or uh, the synthesis of DNA RPCs and it also helps in the utilization of proteins and, and digestion. So coming to deficiency, the folate deficiency causes are dietary deficiency if the absence of vegetables in a food for longer time leads to deficiency and in pregnancy where the requirement will be increased and defective absorption in case of sprue celiac diseases in case of resection of jejunum leads to defect in absorption of this vitamin and drugs if the patient or a person is using any anticonvulsant drugs which will affect the absorption of this and the folate trap so these are the causes for the deficiency of folate coming to the manifestations so folic acid deficiency leads to macrocytic anemia so that is megaloblastic or macrocytic anemia and hyperhomocysteinemia where the increased levels of homocysteine level in the blood and it leads to birth defects during pregnancy if the mother is having folate deficiency that may lead to neural tube defects in fetus which is spina bifida where the spine develops outside of the body 
and the other thing called anencephaly the cancer because folic acid is beneficial in prevention of the cancer so these are the deficiency manifestations main thing is macrocytic anemia hypohomocysteinemia and the birth defects are the main deficiency manifestations so this picture where it's showing the normal cells in the above and below it is showing the megaloblastic cells where the um, due to deficiency of vitamin b12 even in the sorry folic acid and even in the vitamin b12 okay so these are the precursors or megaloblastic cells are the precursors of your rpc so due to deficiency of folic acid there is no maturation or of your rpcs so these are the neural tube defects where you can see spina bifida as i said the spine develops outside the body and encephaly where the missing of skull and brain above the ear so that is anencephaly so coming to your b12 vitamin b12 that is cobalamin so cobalamin is your vitamin b12 the chemistry of this is it consists of a ring called corin ring with the central cobalt atom the cobalt will be present in the center of the corin ring and it found in three forms one is methyl cobalamin where methyl group is in there group will be present adenosyl cobalamin and hydroxy cobalamin in animals so these are the three different forms of our vitamin b12 and the sources sources where the rich sources are your milk pork chicken liver and the good sources of your meat fish and eggs and the curd is a good source as lactobacillus can synthesize this cobalamin and it is the vitamin b12 is not present in any of the vegetables okay so this is about the sources of your vitamin b12 so this structure sorry picture showing the different dietary sources of your vitamin b12 so coming to recommended dietary elements so daily requirement will be 1 to 2 microgram per day where it is increased to 12 mg per day during pregnancy and lactation coming to its biochemical functions so there are two main coenzyme forms of your vitamin b12 that is your methyl cobalamin and deoxy adenosyl cobalamin so this methyl cobalamin is a coenzyme where which is required for the synthesis of methionine from homocysteine okay from homocysteine it will in the homocysteine is converted to methionine with the help of methyl cobalamin and the coenzyme of vitamin b12 along with the vitamin b9 that is folic acid is it required for the synthesis of nucleic acid and also for the cell division okay and it stimulate the hemopoiesis i think you know what is hemopoiesis that is production of your yeah, blood cells okay and coming to uh, the coenzyme of vitamin b12 also participates in amino acid metabolism so these are the main biochemical functions of your vitamin b12 so along with b9 it requires for the synthesis of nucleic acids and cell division okay so coming to its deficiency so the causes or again the nutritional causes were inadequate intake and decrease in absorption in conditions like malabsorption syndrome gastrectomy or resection of the ileum so these are the causes for deficiency and coming to deficiency manifestations leads to vitamin b12 deficiency leads to pernicious anemia as megaloblastic anemia where delayed or failure of normal cell division division due to impaired dna synthesis because it is required for dna synthesis along with the folic acid so that is how it leads to megaloblastic anemia and abnormal homocysteine level as i said it is required for 
conversion of homocysteine to methionine. So that is how it leads to abnormal homocysteine level and damage to the nervous system is due to demyelination. So in a, you see due to demyelination of the nerves. Okay. So these are the deficiency symptoms coming to vitamin C that is your ascorbic acid. So this is not a vitamin which is well, sorry this is not a B complex vitamin it is non B complex. So its name is vitamin C which is ascorbic acid. So this is the structure of vitamin C which is just resembles like your carbohydrate structure you can see it looks like a, a pento sugar here the structure of this and it has a individual form so coming to the sources so the rich sources of your vitamin c is amla gavas and lemon and green leafy vegetables are the very rich sources of your vitamin C and exception is your dried cereals and the pulses coming to its recommended dietary allowances 75 milligram per day and it is increased to 100 milligram per day during pregnancy lactation and in old age so these are the different food sources or dietary sources of your vitamin C so coming to its functions ascorbic acid is mainly required for the hydroxylation reactions when it is in the collagen formation hydroxylation of lysine required uh, ascorbic acid and um, enhances absorption of iron it is required for the synthesis of norepinephrine from the dopamine and synthesis of serotonin it has an antioxidant function and it is also required for bile acid synthesis so these are the main functions or where the ascorbic acid is required for different functions in our body and coming to deficiency manifestations so the deficiency of vitamin c results into something called scurvy so scurvy where you can see these different symptoms where sore spongy swollen and bleeding gums and loose and painful teeth fragile capillaries delayed wound healing swollen joints bone will be fragile and they'll become more prone to fracture or easy fracture and leads to microcytic anemia so these are the deficiency manifestation or sorry symptoms of your vitamin c deficiency and there will be internal hemorrhage due to defect in collagen formation so this picture where it is showing a uh, acronym shades s h a d e s stands for skin discoloration and bruising hemorrhage internal hemorrhage anemia dental issues like swollen bleeding gums um, loose teeth that is the dental issues exhaustion or fatigue and swelling of the joints or edema so these are the deficiency sorry vitamin c deficiency symptoms okay so again this picture showing where the bleeding teeth and gums swollen gums so by this we are finishing our vitamins journey so vitamins are the things which your body needs so thanks for your patience and any doubts or any questions you can text me or whatsapp